this quick video on this heater side of the air conditioning. This is the original unit that's in it. Um, I had it running the other night. I've only just turned it on now. It says it's 20 degrees outside. could only get the heater, even though it was on 30, or set to go to 30, would only go maximum I could get temperature inside, and that was with one of these King's fridge gauges, gives you an inside temperature. Um, maximum I could get it to was 20, 22, pretty much. And the, the actual unit was set at 30. So, I'm just gonna do a, a video in comparison because I'm going to put a diesel heater in there. Curious on how much louder it's going to be, too. It's inside. So this has been running for about 20 minutes. The time on this, I took the other video. So it's now dropped to 19 degrees. And it's showing 22 degrees, 22.6. The issue I'm having is that this is set to 30 degrees. That's as hot as it can get. So if it's colder outside, the hotter the, the hottest you can get is 22.6 degrees. Don't know how accurate this is, but that's what I'm going off. So we'll see what happens when I get a the diesel heater installed. So today we're going to put this diesel heater in. Uh, we're going to take out the air conditioning, and I'm going to use um, the existing duct line. Um, I'm going to alter it slightly. So. We won't have as many pipes going around. And I'll use the same spot to put the control panel for the diesel heater. And hopefully I won't have to make any more holes in the cupboard and whatever. And then there's three holes underneath. And we're gonna patch them up and hopefully utilize one of them for the actual heating element or the the exhaust and to exit the van and the camper. Alright, so I'm going to pull this out to start with and go from there. Okay, it's removed. It was a bit more work than I expected. Um, I had to pull the bed off, the, the mattress. I had to undo the frame to get to the screw that was up in this corner. So there's screws on each corner um, to hold the base on. These uh, middle straps, uh, obviously got a bracket in between to hold the unit to the floor as well. So you don't have to, um, un or you can't undo it because it sits over the top of them. Um, 
but yeah i couldn't get in there maybe if you move the battery out of the road um you could get your hand in there to undo it don't know how they put it in here maybe they put it in before they put the whole bed in or whatever um but yeah it's out now um unwired the control panel it does unclip from the back corner where the power goes in um just uh, it pulls out i didn't know that i actually unconnected the from the display panel which was just a push-in plug anyway um you had to undo the circuit board but that wasn't any big drama um and then you just unfeed it undo the clips and stuff and feed it back under the floor um it is heavier on this end um which is probably what the where the air condenser and so forth is for the um air conditioning but um, I put them, all the bed frames screwed all back together again because I don't think I'll have to um, have it out. It's probably easy to work, but I can't get it. I wasn't going to try and get it out the door. Um, I had to pull the, the foam cover off. That was why I had to take the bed frame off um, to move it out of the road so I could get to the screw properly. So, I mean, if you had a heads up, you go, yep, just pull the mattress off, bed frame off take the box off because that corner of the piece of wood from the bed frame is in the road but that's it there so that's your connection for your control panel and there is a push clip but it seemed to pull out all right so you can get your hand in there to undo that um, but I don't think that will fit underneath the framing of the bed so this one in here was a lot smaller and it slipped under a lot easier and there's just straps they're bolted to the um, steel base and that all comes out so yeah without the bed frame in there if you pulled it out the door you'd have a lot more room um, and then you can just carry it out but i like to do things difficultly all right pull them straps off and then see where we go from there I get the heater unit in and have a look all right so just swept it up a bit got rid of the clips all the straps um so this is the little heater unit I've got um it says it's a um 2kw um unit it's quite small um it's only a small area. Uh, um, I think the other unit, even though it's not a big unit, the air conditioning units just still wasn't enough to keep it cool um, or warm for that matter. So uh, what I'm gonna do is utilize that larger square there. Um, I'm gonna make up um, probably a, find, get a piece of timber that will fit into the hole, cut it down and then um, using the plate or using this as a template um, and then uh, fitting it to the unit and into that hole the other hole will be blanked and so will the small round one then um, we need to um, adjust the ducting to fit I make a um, couple of T sections, uh, run one line through here, and then where it comes up into the cupboard, um, I will run a T unit or something, or a Y unit in here, and run them together. So basically, because it's the heater unit, it only has the, the one outlet, um, it'll split it there and then split it on the side should work all right so I'll keep going okay this is uh, the little heater all done so that replaced the whole air conditioning in that area um, we'll put this board in just to stop anything rolling back being hard to get to yes it does shorten that um so that goes to the edge of the slide basically so um yeah 
we only use this area for drinks and stuff like that. Um, yeah, uh, all the original ducting, I've shortened it somewhat. Um, I had to modify that bit from what I had originally. That was fine. Uh, I had to make this up, but you can buy them with a, a T section. Um, looks similar anyway. Um, and then they all fit into the factory fittings and factory outlets. And then in the cupboard, I had to make up another T piece, slightly different because it's on a corner. And then that feeds the, the one near the bed. And then the other one comes, feeds the one out the front of the cupboard. So, um, what I'm going to do is fire it up. Um, and then I'll show you outside. The temperature is about 13 degrees. This is inside. Um, the thing's been closed up. The door hasn't been op left open, so but it is cold outside. It says 13 outside as well. All right, so pull the bed down. Um, I'm not promoting the heater, but this is the one I got. Um, it's the smaller one. So I'm going to set it to 33 degrees in a comparison to that's what I had the other one set at. The red indicator indicates your glow plug, your pump, fan, and then this will indicate um, your temperature, uh, how hot it's getting inside, but it tells you there anyway. It's not the best display because I found it went weird when you touch it. it. Does come good, fixes itself, but yeah. Everyone complains about the noise of the pump, but if you just listen carefully, once it fills with diesel, I can't really hear it anyway. So until it becomes a problem, I don't need to fix it. So we're going to run it for about 20, 25 minutes. Okay. There's your noise reading. So this is all the ducting, heater, pumps, it's higher than the chassis, fit up into the fuel tank. for about 20 minutes.
We're up to 21 degrees. It's at full speed. and it's still going. It's just gone up to 21. So it's not noisy, I don't think. Um, but in saying that, it doesn't blow a lot of air. Um, It's not a strong fan on it. It's just enough to push the heat out. So it doesn't blow a lot of air. You can feel it, but not like the other one. It's as fast as it blows. So, um, it will move the air around, like you can see it's, it's just moving the curtain a bit. So yeah, um, for the space it takes up, I think it's pretty good. These hoses do get hot. You wouldn't be able to hold that for very long. So you have to be careful on where it runs, what it touches. The air's being sucked in from the back. So you can't put it too close to anything. So it's got that room to suck the air through. So I think you would have to be careful where the hose runs, making sure it's not going to touch anything that uh, could melt, get hot, and suffer from heat. So I've just backed it down to 24 degrees from the 30 that it was on. So that's from 13 degrees, it's now 920, um, so that's 50 minutes, almost an hour from 13 degrees. Now we've set it to 24, what's happened is the, um, the fan speed along the bottom here. Um, it will back down to keep it at a set temperature. So still got that tells you the voltage in the battery system, like of your house battery. And that's your degrees that you've set it to. So now the unit will slow down and idle and maintain that sp that temperature. So I've heard the, the fans back down. So 50 minutes of this um, up to temperature or up to 24 degrees. Uh, where the other one I could only get to 22, 21. And then it would blow cold air on me. Then it would change and then heat up again and blow warm air on me. And it was rather annoying. This is just constantly warm or hot air blowing out. Um, if you don't want it, turn it off. Um, as I said, the only thing is it doesn't blow very hard. But it does heat up very well. Now to shut it down, hold the power button. Off. 
So now it goes through a cycle. That's the glow plug. And we'll cool the unit down. That's it.